Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Linux Mint 16, which is uh, of course based off of um, Ubuntu, but they've made so many changes over the last couple years that it is definitely a distribution that is uh, come on its own. For instance, you can um, their update manager is completely different, and uh, they have multiple versions. So anyway, let's take a look at their website. The default search is Yahoo, but I've already switched it to um, DuckDuckGo. You can just go ahead and click down there, and it will actually remember your last search. So, of course, the uh, version most people are familiar with is the Linux Mint 16 Cinnamon Edition. But if you're looking for something a little bit more of a uh, classic uh, enterprise uh, interface or desktop edition, XFCE is a very good... Uh, a modern desktop environment unlike the mate or mate edition it is uh, not simply a uh, clone of the old gnome style and um, they've been updating it but uh, 4.10 is the current version Linux Mint uh, has gone and made their own uh, whisker menu which is pretty amazing it's kind of similar to a kickoff menu in uh, KDE just a little bit more responsive and uh, oops I don't need to look at the software manager right now go look in the settings manager so you could of course change your themes icons fonts and settings this is all XFCE settings so if you're getting the XFCE version a lot of the applications and uh, settings they provide are specific to the XFCE uh, desk, uh, desktop environment, which is great. LibreOffice is uh, pre-installed. Go in here. Let's just pretend we're... I had this loaded earlier, so XFCE... Did, I mean, um, LibreOffice did load pretty quickly. Banshee for their music player. This is extremely useful because you can go through everything in a, a small little menu and just scroll through, which is something you can't really do in GNOME Shell. And even Cinnamon. I find this a lot more useful than the, uh, the Cinnamon um, menu. Go in here and turn off power. Or, you know, of course you can go over and... Oh, that's funny. Well, I did have the power information running off earlier, so that's probably why it's showing the battery. Let's see what else we have under graphics. We have um, the GNU Image Manipulation Program, or GIMP, LibreOffice Draw, GThumb, and Rosetta Image Viewer. Internet, you've got Firefox, Pigeon Internet Messenger. Transmission for all your uh, torrents. So let's say you're going to torrent the latest uh, version of said distro. Banshee, pulse audio volume control, and office. And of course, all your various settings. Window, window manager tweaks so you can make the changes to the compositor. Maybe get rid of this little uh, um, drop shadow if you're not a fan of drop shadows. I added the uh, at, uh, customizing the panel is one of the reasons I really love XFCE, which is why I tend to use XFCE on, uh, especially my desktop. It's very keyboard friendly. Um, and, of course, uh, keyboard friendly meaning you can uh, create uh, shortcuts uh, a little bit easier than in some other de desktop environments. Let's say, for instance, you're not a big fan of this whisker menu. I couldn't imagine why you would, wouldn't be a huge fan of it. You could always add the uh, generic uh, applications menu, move that over, and replace it if you wanted to. In some cases, that might be uh, useful. I'm going to remove it again. But that's one of the reasons I love this uh, distribution. And uh, in more, more senses, I actually am a big fan of XFCE, so the distribution is uh, secondary in that sense. But Linux Mint 16 is certainly a good alternative if you're looking for a, an alternative to Zubuntu or another uh, distribution running XFCE. It's one of the better designed themes. 
you know, it's got this nice uh, muted neutral gray. Let's go ahead and check out some of the artwork improvements in this version. Let's go into right click and hit desktop settings. Scroll all the way up. You can see some of these really amazing um, pieces of desktop artwork. I think some of these are rather stunning. It's an amazing photo of Radio City Music Hall in New York. It's so cool. I've been running Linux Mint Debian Edition on my other, on my main hard drive on this computer. So I find uh, their their products tend to be a lot more stable than um, Ubuntu. Just my opinion. Um, maybe it's just I, I tend to be a little tough on Ubuntu because after a few uh, reboots here and there and installing applications, I always end up with some error dialogue every once in a while, and um, generally doesn't not very helpful help uh, telling me to, how to resolve it. Sometimes it's just a a cron job or something in the background that's not incredibly important. So that's a uh, Linux Mint Debian edition, or I'm sorry, Linux Mint uh, Petra 16, and this is the XFCE edition. So if you guys want to check that out, you can go over to their website and download it right away. All right, everyone, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.